to let's play guitar and today we are checking out how to play if i love by x sharon and this is the second song that i'm doing from his album x i've previously done thinking out loud if you want to check out the tutorial you can click the link in the description box below and if you want me to do any other song from his album x then you can let me know in the comments section below but for now we take a look at this one and this one is based on his live performances and this is how he plays it live and it's not too difficult to play only thing is that you have to get your chords right and that once you practice your chord changes the song is pretty easy so I will still be showing you an easier way to play the song based on open chords but primarily we will be looking at how to play it how he plays it okay so let's get into it okay let's take a look at the chords once you get your chords right half the job is done because this song is all about chord changes we're not playing any chord the conventional way um, he's doing a lot of variations in all of these chords. So let's take a look at this one. The first one we have is a D minor. It's usually played this way. We have the fifth fret, but he's playing it this way. Okay, so first finger bar on the fifth fret, your index finger, and then you have your ring finger on the seventh fret, and then you leave the third string barred with your first finger so fifth fret seventh fret fifth fret again on third string and then on second string you have sixth fret with your middle finger that's all we need we just need these four strings five four three and two he sometimes adds his pinky finger to the eighth fret but we are going to be focusing on these four strings five four three and two so this is a D minor variation the next chord we need is over here so we have F suspended fourth and for this one you just need your third and fourth fingers on third fret of the fourth and the third strings and then you have your index finger on the first fret of the second string so we, we're just using these three strings over here. Now sometimes he does bring in his 
index finger and bars it over the first fret. And place it this way. Yeah. But we're using this little pattern. This one is much easier to change. The next chord we need after your F suspended fourth is a G minor. He plays it this way. But I'm making it easier for you and we're going to do it this way. You're playing the same notes so it doesn't matter if you play it this way or if you play it this way. So you have your middle finger on third fret top string and your third and fourth fingers on third fret of third and fourth strings. Okay? And you're not, you don't have to play the fifth string. We're just using the sixth string, the fourth string, the third string, and the second string. The fourth string will remain open. So, now he plays it this way. He brings in his ring finger on the fifth fret, and the wrist is barred with his index finger. We're playing it this way. And then we move to your C chord. Now, we're not using a conventional bar chord. Your index finger is on 3rd fret of the 5th string and your ring finger is on 5th fret of the 4th string and your pinky finger is on the 2nd string 5th fret. So we have like this. Now he likes to play the 3rd string open. He does that. You know? The 3rd string is left open. And sometimes he plays it the conventional way, C bar chord. So we have D minor covered, F suspended fourth, G minor, C major, and then you have then you have a B flat chord. So just bring your C major two frets down. Is your B flat? Again, the third string is left open. First finger, first fret, and third and fourth fingers, third fret. So just to take your C, two frets down. That's your B flat. And then there's another chord that we need over here. You take your C, the same formation, and move it to your eighth fret. So the first finger is on eighth fret of the 5th string and 3rd and 4th fingers are on 10th fret. And this string, 3rd string is left mute. So we are just looking at the same formation and changing the frets. We have the C over here, B flat over here, on the 8th fret, move to our F chord. And then we have of course our D minor. Okay, so let's begin the song. Now if you want to make the song easier, just play the D minor this way, in the conventional way, open chord, but you will not get the same sound as this one. If you want to copy this chord, you will have to have the fourth string open, third string second fret, and your first finger barred your first fret. So, that's your D minor. And the rest of the chords are the same and instead of the bar chord C we can play the C this way. Standard C chord and if you want to make F chord easier you can just play it this way. Bring your D chord three frets up on the fifth fret that's your F major. So that's to make the chords easier. So wherever I'm playing D minor you can, you can play it this way and when I'm playing the C bar chord, you can play it this way. When I'm playing F, you can play it this way. Okay. But we're looking at the live version here. So let's take a look at how to play the verse. All right, then. The verse goes something like this. Things were all good yesterday. Then Dale took your memory. G minor and C major. And then we go to the next line. So we have D minor and the picking pattern goes like this. So we play the fifth string and the fourth string with our thumb. And then you have your second string with your middle finger, third string with your index finger, and then the fourth string and 
third string again with your thumb and index finger so you have five four second third and four and three this is what we are going to be using for almost the whole of the song five four second third fourth and third okay so this is what we have for the right hand now we do this four times in the beginning for the opening verse one two three four five four two three four three okay do this four times and you move to your F suspend fourth over here playing the fourth string and third string with thumb and second string and third string and fourth and third again just like the D minor chord four three two three four three okay that's what we have and we played this two times one two then you move to G minor just once you have your sixth string played with the thumb fourth string second third and then fourth and third so you see the right hand remains very similar just that we are changing the strings wherever we are changing the left hand so six four two three four three right just play it once and you move to your C major same right hand five four second three four three right just play it once or you can also play it this way and you have your third string open and we don't have to use this for now so we're just keeping it mute you can keep it mute what he also does sometimes is just play the fifth string fourth string and second string let's just leave it at that and then he moves to the next line you know so you can either do this five four two three four three or just five four two and move to the next line so we have d minor four times one two three four now do f suspend fourth once sorry twice one two g minor for one beat one C for one beat one so that's what we have for the opening line this is the verse going on and then we move to the second line and it goes like this So we have D minor played three times. The right hand is the same as earlier. One, two, three. Now on the fourth beat, we move to your F chord. You see? And just play the fifth string, fourth string, and second string. The chord is the same. Just move your C to the eighth fret. Just play the fifth, fourth, and second string and move back to your C chord. Do it two times. One. Right hand is fifth string, fourth string, and third string. Do it another time. Then move to your B flat. And 
do it four times. One, two, three, four. He does a little hammer on to the first fret. See? And the right hand is just your fifth string, fourth string, and second string. He does the little three, four, three, but it's it's on mute, so you can't really hear it. So B flat four times. Three four. That's what we have for the verse. So I'll clear the verse again. We have for the first line D minor four times three four of the F sharp F suspended fourth once sorry two times one two G minor three and C on one beat. For the next line D minor three times one two three of the F for just one beat and back to C for two beats one two and then B flat for four beats one two three four and then he comes to the pre-chorus which is the pre-chorus is starting from your B flat and my father told me it's not his fault it doesn't know your face Though my grandma used to sing that he used to sing and then you move to your chorus so we have D minor just two times the right hand is the same 5, 4, 3 5, 4 and 2nd string so you're not really hearing the middle two strings because they're on mute he does it but it's on mute, so you don't really hear it. So five, four, two. Two times, and then two times on F. Fifth string, fourth string, and second string. Do it two times. One, two. Move to C major, and do it again two times. One, two. Move to B flat, one, Two. We move to the next line, and you're not the only one. Again, D two times. The right hand is the same. Five, four, two. And if you want to add, you can three, four, three. Two times. Move to F. One, two. Move to C. One, two. Move to F. One. Two. Now the last, um, for the final line, the next time he doesn't really move to F, he stays in C because he's moving to the chorus. So, from F major, move to C. He used to sing and move to your chorus. And the chorus is almost the same as the first line of our verse. So it goes like this. Darling, hold me in your arms Till last night We lied inside For a little while They could put you in the arms G minor C major So that's for your chorus So we have D minor two times then your F suspended fourth two times, then your G minor two times, and then C major two times. So all chords for two beats. So we're looking at D minor first. The right hand is going the same way, five, four, two. And if you want to add, then you can add three, four, three. I'm talking about the strings, three, four, three. So D minor two times one, two, move to F suspended fourth, one, two, 
move to G minor one, two, move to C major one, two, five, four, two, three, four, three. That's if you want to play it this way. If, you, if you're playing it this way, then you're better off with 5, 4, and 2. 5, 4, 2. Or 5, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3. 5, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3. So we have all chords two times. I'll repeat it again. Darling, hold me in your arms. Did last night we lie inside. Again, and this here happens for four lines, four times. D minor twice, twice. F seven fourth twice. G minor twice. C twice. Two. And you repeat this four times. Okay, and that is almost the whole song is covered. You've got the verse, you've got the pre-chorus, and you've got the chorus. And all of this repeats one more time. And then we get to the ending part. The ending is where he goes, My father and all of my family Fresh from seeds, hallelujah. So here, we are playing the bass notes over here. Um, he does the same. And sometimes you can go to the melody notes if you want. But we are doing the bass notes for here. So the pattern is, the chord pattern is the same as your first line of the first verse of the verses. And here you have D minor four times, F suspended two times, G minor once, and C major once. Okay, so let's look at the right hand. You have, here you have your D minor played as the D power chord. So you have five, four, three, and then four, five, four. So five, four, three, four, five, four. Four, five, four is quickly. Five, four, three, four, five, four. He does it four times. One, two, three. Four. Move to your B flat power chord, and here you do the same thing, but just twice. So five, four, three, four, five, four. One another time, and move to G minor, or in this case the G power chord, and you do six. Five four six five four and then move to C power chord. Just five four and three. And just keep repeating this for four times D minor one, two, three, four, one, two, once, once. And you keep repeating this till the end. And that is how you play a file love, the live version. I hope it was clear. Um, you will need a little bit of practice to get the chord changes right on time. And once you do it, once you make it fluent, then the song is pretty easy to play and you can sing along at the same time. Okay, so thanks for watching the tutorial.